Master Chef definitely changed my life. It turned my life on its head. I don't feel like my feet have touched the ground since. I've had my own cooking shows, written books, started my own business. It's just that electricity in the Master Chef kitchen is like nothing I've ever felt in my life. Yeah, I just want that feeling again. I had been dreaming about this for the last 10 years. And, of course, I'm back to win. I was 18 when I went on MasterChef. I was the runner-up on season six. If I'd won last time, I would have been the youngest ever winner in MasterChef history. But I've got six years of experience now, working under some of the best chefs, opening a restaurant. But I've definitely grown as a cook. Looking back, I don't think I was ready to win, but I am now. The first time I was on MasterChef, I was a 19-year-old uni student. I'm 30 now, so a lot's changed since then. I'm absolutely loving being a dad. Something's driving me to come back to MasterChef. It's not just for me now. I have a family. I want to win for them. I was in the finale last year, and I'm definitely still finding my feet in the industry. I've got the least commercial <coughs> experience compared to people that finished a lot earlier. But the pressure of cooking in the MasterChef kitchen is like no other. I'm super competitive, I'm match fit, I'm ready for it. The standard is going to be super high, but I have unfinished business. The cooking style when I was in MasterChef, it was very focused on desserts. Ever since then, I've expanded my knowledge more and spent all these years honing my skills. What's driving me to come back is to prove how much I've grown. I'm running multiple businesses with my family, being nominated as the finalist pastry chef in Australia, but Master Chef Trophy is yet to be mine. We're all here because we made the top 12 in our season. Looking around, there's so many tough competitors, runners up, third place getters. Some have been out for a short time, some a long time. But once you walk through those doors, none of that matters. to get to know all of you across the rest of the week. That's right. I'm here all week. <laughs> all of you are back here to win. And I'm here to give you a little nudge. Or maybe a great big shove in the right direction. But I'm not the one you need to really seriously impressed these guys are please welcome your new
phenomenal Master Chef judges. From the most amazing restaurant Arana in Adelaide, he is now one of Australia's top chefs, and he is a fellow Scot. <laughs> Jock Sonfrillo. <laughs> Right, your next judge. Lady travels the world looking for the next big thing in food. One of Australia's hottest food writers and critics, Melissa Leon. <laughs> Third and final judge. No one knows about winning Masterchef more than this guy. He took out the title in 2012, and he is the first Masterchef contestant ever to win a chef's hat from the amazing restaurant Three Blue Ducks and the Allen. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we worked together back in the 90s in London. And so I can't be proud of you now to be here very uh, as a judge. What do you look for in a chef? Honestly, the best cooks in the world, you can feel them on a plate. You've been in this kitchen before. And so because you've got that comfort level, you should cook the best food that Master Chef Australia has ever seen. Melissa, you write the most amazing articles. Now you're going to be delivering straight to their faces. <laughs> <laughs> this is the who's who of Master Chef Australia across all the years, the favourites, the beloved people. You've all gone away. You've all learned so much since you've been in here last. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what you can bring. Andy, did you honestly ever think, standing that side, that one day, literally seven years later, <laughs> would be this side? Gordon, it's pretty well known. I didn't think I'd get through the first shake, let alone be on there, let alone be here. But I am honoured, I'm pumped, and I can't wait to see what you guys cook. That's the most exciting thing. What I'd like to say to all of you is that kudos and respect to have the come back. <laughs> because you've got amazing glowing careers, but to put that on hold, to pick up this trophy again, that says something. That really does show the determination, guts, and the level of focus and hunger all of you hold. Back to win. That's what you're all here for. I'd like to wish all of you the best of luck. I want to see fireworks. Let's start by officially saying welcome to MasterChef 2020. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you're all back to win, and whoever does takes home a quarter of a million dollars. And more importantly, they get to lift that trophy and have their name engraved on it. So, first challenge, we want you to cook us a dish that is worthy of winning the competition. So right now on day one, you need to play your A game as if this was the finale. Prove to us that you really are back to win. Guys, one last thing. Chalk's kind of got the heart pumping. I'm going to make a beat out of your chest because this is important. Whoever cooks the best dish today. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Gets this. An immunity pin. Or should I say, the immunity pin. Because this year, this is the only immunity pin for the whole competition. 
So this is your only get out of jail free card that you will guarantee not going home in a pressure test or an elimination. You have 90 minutes. You can cook whatever you would like, sweet or savoury. You have everything in the pantry and the garden is looking great, so please use it. Are you ready? Yeah. Because your time starts now! Go, 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 go. I'm going to faint if I think about Gordon Ramsay being here for another second, so I'm just going to ignore that he's here. Guys, there's a kitchen out there. Oh, my Lord. Sorry. The old dog's in this kitchen and probably forgotten how hectic this kitchen is. Everything's weird. It's a bit hectic right now, but you know, we'll get there once we calm down. To be honest, I feel really out of shape. <laughs> what are we what are we done for? What are we done for? <laughs> Back in the kitchen. Uh, yeah, real kind of nervous energy about the place. Can I run out like this? He's trying to remember where everything is in the pantry and how the equipment works and all that kind of stuff. Where's the park window? Just so free. How do you even get these to like go in? But cooking for Gordon today, Gordon's the new judges. It's exciting. It's really exciting. There's only one pin this season and everyone wants it. it smells good. The immunity pin would be amazing. However, I've got some stiff competition. Back with MasterChef, it feels pretty incredible because MasterChef has been the foundation of my career and I feel like we've got to make an impression. The other new fin will be great. I mean, that's a jail card, my jail free card. The dish I've come up with my mind, I love working with challenging colors. For example, just plain white. The dish I'm making is called White Noise. Everything is revolved around white. I've got to produce a dish that can win me the competition. And for a finale dish, it has to be dessert. Got it. We got it. Now, this should be super exciting. It may seem a long time, 90 minutes, but they need to come out with a MasterChef finale level dish tonight. That's what I'm expecting to see. Absolutely. They're all great cooks within their own right. The expectation is the cooking's going to be stunning. These guys, they would have known with their experience that they're going to cook a dish where they can go for a free for all. They're prepared to impress us right now. They're all playing to win. The weirdest thing is that Andy is standing up there and not next to me. Andy and I have been in lockstep since season four. He's my best mate. He reminds me constantly that he won. So it'd be nice to be able to say, look, I won as well, mate, so you can just pipe down. Can I Ben? Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> How are you? Good mate, how are you? So good. Jock, nice to meet you. And you. What are you cooking for us? I'm doing abalone and pork cheek. Oh. Yeah. So, you know, we've died for abalone yeah. many, many times we have. together. We have. Benny, you know I love eating your food, but I won't go easy. You're going to be the harshest critic I've had, I reckon. <laughs> If I don't bring my A game and I don't get it, you know what I am capable of. I mean, we've been doing it to each other for eight years now, so. Insane. Man, I'm so proud of you. I can't believe you're standing there. Proud of you too? We've been open and honest with each other from the moment we met. Along the way, you um, you meet people and you, you go through experiences and... That it? The bandy connection that came out of season four is probably the most memorable thing for me. I'm extremely proud of him. He's come a long way. He's, I think he, he is the favourite now. Andy and I started our own TV production company. He's obviously been in Sydney and doing big things. I might let them roar. Start off strong. To see him take his place as a judge, it's an emotional feeling because... Yeah. What are you making, Andy? I'm going to start with the gratin. What I'm going to do is, if I had mates coming around for lunch, it's like my favourite thing to prepare for them. Really nice steak, some amazing sides. Scampi crudo, grapefruit segments. I just want to show the judges the food I love to cook, and if they would come around to my house, this is what I'd serve them. For me, I'm not someone that works in a restaurant. I write recipes for delicious, do TV shows, a lot of home-style cooking. Well, that wasn't me that was burning. What was that? 
since leaving MasterChef, it's been a very busy nine years. Courtney, I welcome back. It's been ten years. I know. I'm like a fossil of this Let's show. Start. Tessa. Hey, Gordon. It's almost like you just left, but you got that close. So, girl, you have to win. I'll get there, yeah. Harry, quarter million dollars, immunity pin. If you had to single out one individual now that you can see yourself in the finale with, who is it? Pressure. 